Okay, here's our second example. We're going to solve the equation cotangent x equals negative 0 0.3 and very first thing you should always look at is this domain over here. This tells us that we're going to be working in radians. Make sure you change your mode in your calculator right now so that you're working in radians. Now, um, this problem doesn't have anything to simplify over here on the left side either. So we can go ahead and start this problem by taking the cotangent inverse on both sides. And then remember we don't like working with cotangents so we're going to use the reciprocal of that which is tangent inverse and then we're going to use the reciprocal of this ratio also. One way you can write it is 1 divided by negative 0.3 or if you want to since this is really negative 3 tenths you could write it as negative 10 thirds that would work also. Either way we do it, when we plug this into our calculator, if we're in radians, we should get a radian measure of negative 1.28 radians. Now, that makes sense because remember when we're taking the tangent inverse of a negative ratio, that angle does come from quadrant 4 and we're turning in the opposite direction, we're turning clockwise so we get a negative angle and everybody's kind of always thrown off by this negative measure. Well really this negative angle of negative 1.28 really is the same thing as our reference angle if we take the absolute value of it. So our reference angle is just 1.28. Now since we were taking the tangent inverse or cotangent inverse, doesn't matter, of a negative ratio, according to all students take calculus, remember that we want an angle in the positive rotation. Our domain tells us that we have to go from 0 to 360 or 0 to 2 pi in the positive direction. So we want to think about where tangent ratios are negative which is going to be in the second and the fourth quadrant. So to get our quadrant two angle what we're going to do is use the reference angle of 1.28 and the angle that we're generating from quadrant two working in that positive rotation is going to be pi minus 1.28 radians or 1.86 radians. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. If not, take a moment, try to help each other out and explain it to each other. In the fourth quadrant, working all the way around in the counterclockwise direction from the positive x-axis, the angle in quadrant 4 we would get by taking 2 pi and subtracting the reference angle of negative 1.28 from it. And that's going to give us an angle measure of 5 radians. So our solution set for this particular example in radians is 1.86 and 5. Okay, since I'm not here today, guys, make sure that if you are having questions and you're not able to talk with each other to answer them, make sure you jot them down so that when I do come back next class, you are prepared to ask the appropriate questions.